What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bros podcast. Hello, hello, everybody. Episode number 41? Is that, yeah. is that right? 41, man. Nice. Today is August 31st, 2020. Uh, coming up pretty hot on September, so, you know, looking, looking forward to that, right? Yeah. Right? I don't know. Brand new, a brand new, uh, brand new month of mayhem and destruction and more, more people dying and uh yeah, yeah so, <laughs> sorry yeah. to be all gloomy to start the show off <laughs> yeah there's there's bound to be some more terrible news coming in september so just yeah get ready for that watch out we'll we'll be here first covering it so <laughs> <laughs> hey but what's yeah. going on noodles <laughs> welcome to the show man well yeah well, welcome to the show everybody um hope your week was good nick how was um how was your week my week was it was pretty great it's pretty great i I think I've talked about this on the podcast before. On the podcast before, no, but the podcast, the podcast. <laughs> Dude, my voice has been cracking so much lately, and I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's maybe it's just puberty, man. It's like a puberty two point oh. It it feels like it. Like it, <laughs> it just won't stop cracking. And well, yeah, uh-huh. Alicia, um, she was like, "Well, do you think it's because you've like eaten tofu? Because she like made tofu one night and I had it like twice or something." I was like. I don't think that would cause my voice to crack. I've never heard of like food causing. Well, because tofu has a lot of estrogen in it, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, how much tofu have you eaten? I don't think it's gonna. N- not enough. To... Yeah. But then I also have soy sauce every morning with my eggs, and soy has a lot of estrogen in it. Really? I think I think so. So hmm. I don't know. Interesting. It, it could just be my voice cracking because my voice cracks. But yeah. Anyways, uh, my week was good. I finally, finally, finally got my laptop fixed. It had been inaccessible since May because I got locked out by a firmware password and I had to go into Apple to get it fixed, but I couldn't get into Apple to yeah. get it fixed because they were closed down until like June or July and I was in Florida for a month, so I didn't have my laptop. And then <laughs> I finally got in and I didn't have my proof of purchase receipt because I bought it from my school bookstore. So I had to go through the whole rigmarole of so setting annoying. up another appointment with Apple. And I had a, I ended up having to call a salesperson who then like hooked me up with the guy who helped me before. So I was like, Hey, can you like help me out? And then he was so kind to, to let me come in on his lunch break. And I just dropped my laptop off with him and he, he got me out and, you know, got me past the firmware password and I had proof of purchase and all that stuff. So, I, t- I took it home and I booted I booted up the laptop and everything was fine and nothing was deleted so it was nice. And then I was like I was kind of locked out because I I locked my pass my my Mac using that like find my yeah Mac app on your phone. So then it kicked me out again and it brought me back to the firmware screen. I was like <laughs> shoot man. But then I had I had a password that I had used to set that so I could get back in. That's, you th- you think that like I don't know when when you first buy your laptop and you and you move all your data over that that would be enough of a confirmation that you you know own the laptop Yeah it's unreal like it it had been registered under my name since 2015 like I don't know what else they needed like I had every form of identification on me that to to show that it was me but <laughs> you know they I mean the, Yeah the they're they're a little like I don't know I mean, we talked about this before. They're, it's just a little too much. It is a little too much, but it's yeah. it's great to have it back. I started recording music again, and sweet, really, really fun. I got a new microphone. I don't know if you can hear any difference, but it's just I don't know. I wanted a fresh start. I've had my old microphone for you know six or seven years. Yeah, I wanted to just get a new one. Um, so what what's um what's different with with this one versus the old? Well, I guess one Other than- big. Good. One one big difference is it's it's cheaper. I think my old one was like two hundred, and this one was seventy five. So I don't know if that reflects in the quality at all, but it's um it's, it's a small wait yeah it's a small diaphragm mic, mm-hmm. and I think that means it just picks up sound differently. And my other one was a large diaphragm mic. Right, right. So I mean, I I don't really know a ton about what the difference is they're both condenser mics and they both plug into my uh my line input right here gotcha 
Cool. Well, yeah, it just it just gives a different sound to your uh, to your vocals, kind of a more more raw sound to them, I guess. Cool. If that makes sense. Sweet. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, yeah, it feels good to be back. Have my have my old setup. Yeah, yeah. that's that's my sweet. Week. Sweet. Yeah, I'm um. So like Brittany, she is. She, I got her a cricket for her birthday back in May, and uh, mm-hmm. we've been kind of slowly getting some supplies and stuff for her to start like running like a little business of making um like some cups and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, her her laptop is like four years old now, and it won't even stay on without like it being plugged in. Yeah. So she was like, "Well, if you get a new computer, I'll just take your your Mac because I mean." She's only going to be using one software on the Mac, so it's not like it's going to be using a ton of the CPU or GPU or whatever. Um, so I'm kind of starting to look for a new PC. Um, nice. I know I know Noodles is in the chat, and I know he's going to hate me for wanting just to buy a pre-built PC because I guess buying it, you're like buying the parts separately yourself and put together is like way better. I guess and a little bit cheaper too. But I don't know, like dog shit about <laughs> building a pc or even where to begin so like i feel like my first time i should just buy like a an already assembled one and i found one that it looked decent for what i, I can tell like i said i don't know anything about computers uh it was like 600 bucks mm-hmm. so not bad um i still have to get like a monitor and stuff but i think i could probably use one of my work monitors in the meantime to see how it looks but um so I'm, i've been kind of venture into that because i really want to like i want to start like streaming again like a lot more and uh i don't know be, be, being able to do a little bit different things and with mm-hmm. with my mac and in, in uh in general it's kind of i mean it's, it's a 2012 mac so it's pretty old so it it kind of chugs even even just running zoom right here and uh and my streaming software it kind of chugs sometimes yeah. so it's so that kind of sucks, but so yeah, I'm looking into that. Okay. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully I can find something that's pretty good that can kind of because I'm not really going to be gaming on it too much. That was that was what I was going to ask. Yeah, I mean, I might game a little bit just to see, like maybe check out like some some different indie games or something, or mm-hmm. uh, try out like um, a Game Pass or something on the PC because I know they have a few different games than X. Excuse me, than Xbox does. But for that part, I'm I'm really not going to be using it for gaming. Uh, so I, I don't need something super um, super beefy. Okay. But um, other than that, I uh, we did uh, we did like a seafood night on Saturday. We uh, we went to this place called uh, the G Mart. Nick, I think I told you about that before. Um, yeah, yeah. It's I like an Oriental that. kind of place. They have like a ton of different s- stuff, but. Mm-hmm. Um, we got like some really nice uh, salmon steaks and I've never had salmon steaks before. I've only had like the, the fillets or whatever. And uh, we made like a, um, like a soy, like a soy sauce for it. It's like, uh, like syrup, like maple syrup, soy sauce, um, some, some pepper flakes, a little bit of oil. Super good. Really, really good. Uh, and we did like, we did some crab legs and we did like some shrimp skewers and stuff. So it was nice. It was pretty good. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, Cause we had done crabs before, but I didn't, I, I didn't cook them long enough, and they just, I felt like they got waterlogged and they just didn't taste mm-hmm. super great. Kind of a wash. Yeah, and also like, I'm not a huge fan of eating whole crabs in general. Like, I much prefer like legs because it's, I'm kind of lazy, so it, it's it's, <laughs> it's a lot more work. Like, you know, trying to get the whole crab open. Yeah, and then you got to like dig around like their lungs and the stuff because you you can't really eat that i mean you can but mm. you know but um but yeah other than that um pretty pretty good week quick nice. week man the the weeks have been going by super quick yeah my god for me. this this last week went by so fast i don't know why yeah i i mean nothing's changed uh i don't know it's just been going by like super super quick which which i dig so whatever yeah i'm excited though because for for Labor Day, my company does Fridays and Mondays off. Okay, sweet. So I have this Friday off, and this Friday, uh, Lisa and I are going to drive down to Charlotte, and then we're going to hit up some venues, look at some wedding venues. Sweet. Um, hopefully find hopefully find a good place or decide on a place, and then then have a date set. Cool. 
Yeah. Are y'all are y'all going to uh, Nana's house? I what? No, why? Uh, oh no 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 no! We're going to uh, her parents' house. Oh okay, gotcha gotcha. Yeah. Okay yeah. Cool. Uh, what you um what you been playing? Nothing nothing new really. I I did pick up Lonely Mountains Downhill on Switch. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why, man. I just I love it so much. I played it a ton on Game Pass. I I never finished it. But I saw it was on sale on Switch for like fifteen dollars, and I was like, yeah. you know, I, I want to support the devs and download Sweet. this." And you know, kind of um, ironically, I guess the DLC was announced for it at Gamescom, so there's nice. a new, like a new mountain coming out. Sweet, that's and, probably why they put it on sale. Yeah, yeah, get it's it out why. there. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's been really fun playing Switch. Not much of a difference on Xbox. There's a few pop in, you know, pop in issues. Right, right with like terrain in the background but you know i haven't really noticed any frame rate stuttering or anything like that so it's been a good experience and then dude just just been just been jamming in skater xl as well nice just grinding it up it's sweet such, sometimes i'll just like you know turn it on during my lunch break or something and yeah. play for 20 minutes and just you know kind of vibe the music on there is pretty good i i will say it's it's like kind of classic skate music like alternative mm-hmm. kind of rock music well, we got we got tony hawk coming out what friday yeah september 3rd uh is, is it friday? the third or fourth it's, maybe it's maybe it's the it's, sixth no it's this week so it's probably on friday right actually i have it i have it pulled up right here so yeah if it's the fourth i think it's excuse me i think it's friday when it comes out uh september 4th nice yeah yeah, so pick it, I, I probably, pick that up. Yeah, I probably won't play it this weekend because I'll be gone. But yeah, when I, when I get back on Sunday, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably end up picking it up Friday and, and playing a little bit. I'm yeah. excited, man. I have it, man. It's, it's been so long. It's gonna be fun. It's yeah, it's gonna be a good. Can't time. wait to like just jam out to like some nice classic, like rock and stuff like that, like the old school rock. It's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be nice. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. It's man, what a, what a renaissance of a year. You know, everything else has been bad, but skateboarding has really had its time <laughs> Skateboarding's to back, baby. <laughs> it's back. It's back. <laughs> We're back to 2003. I'm ready to collect the uh, the VHS tapes. Yeah, the VHS tapes, the skate letters. Yeah, dude. Oh. Infinite combos. I mean, it's... Yeah, use the manual trick. Yeah. Yeah, the reverb <laughs> manual. Oh. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> what about you? What have you been playing? So I've been playing some more Paper Mario. Um, Man, I, I've, like... I haven't fallen off of the game necessarily, but I, I didn't play it for like a week, and now I'm like I'm back in it. I, I, I you love hit it. Stride? Uh, I hit the stride. I'm I'm in. Um, I just I so saw I beat the the yellow str- or the is it the yellow streamer? I think it's the one where you're in the desert. Yeah. Uh, really, I really did like that part. It's a lot of backtracking. Yeah. It's but a luckily, too much. luckily the world. I mean, it, it's so small that it it doesn't really take long at all. Mm. Um. Really like that part. I, I like the uh, I like the the boss fight at the end of that um, the the dance party you go to. The dance party. It's like it's like in the desert, like in the tomb or whatever, and like all the toads had their their faces cut out. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was super, that was a really cool dungeon. Yeah, super through. super cool super cool boss fight. I really I really did like that area. Now I'm on mm-hmm. to um, I got I met Captain uh. T, T, they call him like Captain Toad or whatever. Yeah, uh, I was kind of hoping it was going to be like the actual Captain Toad from the games, but it was like it's like some. Um, uh, he's like an ancient one or whatever, whatever they want to call it. But uh, so now I've got like the submarine or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'm on the I'm on the uh, the the ocean now uh, for good. Um, we're well, not for good, but uh, yeah, properly for- with with the with the chart, so I can get past the fog. Yeah. Um, Really gives me like a lot of Wind Waker vibes, just being able yes. to kind of travel across the water and find random islands and stuff. Um, really liking that part so far. Okay. Uh, still not digging the combat. I'm just kind of over the combat. I, I really like the boss fight combat mm-hmm. and just kind of like the overall combat, just outside of the boss fights um, or, or like in the world and not like necessarily the in the ring. fights. Yeah. yeah. Um, I kind of dread anytime there's like a a regular fight Probably which is kind of a bummer it. but yeah eh, it is what it is i was i was in i was of the same mindset at that point in the game and i got to a point where i was just like all right let me get through this streamer because like 
you know, after the yellow one in, in the desert, that one took a while. And then I was yeah. like, I don't, really don't want to take this long for the blue one. So I kind of, you know, beeline towards the end of that one. And then, and then it, and then it picks up a lot. Like okay. the next one is, is pretty short. Like you can get through it in an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I think blue was one of my least favorites to, to play through, but aesthetically I loved it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for, from like a Wind waker vibe, I, I really liked it. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Paper Mario, man. Just Yeah. It's pretty good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Maybe you'll finish um, it by 2021. <laughs> no, I'll probably finish it up by <laughs> hopefully next week, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I mean, I've just been kind of playing it like, you know, in between phone calls at work when there's like downtime. Yeah. Just pick it up, play it for 10 minutes. Um, and then I, I picked up, or well, I, I downloaded Tell Me Why on Game Pass. Okay. Um, it's like the, I can't remember the studio's name, but they did um, A Life is Strange. Is that, is that studio? Mm-hmm. Really cool story so far. So far, so it's it's about uh, it's about a sibling. It's, it's twins, I believe. Um, and one of the twins. This is like very beginning of the game, so it's it's not really spoilery. But very beginning of the game, uh, you find out that uh, the mom has like some sort of mental Ill- illness or something, and she pulls a gun out and is going to possibly kill one of the siblings. And that sibling stabs the mom and kills her. And then. The si- then uh, that sibling goes on to some correctional center uh, for 10 years. And then I think when they turn 18 is when, um, is when they get out. But the, the character that I'm, that I'm talking about, uh, his name is Tyler, uh, and it's a trans character, which is pretty cool because like, you don't really get a lot of representation. Um, yeah. And it's, it's a pretty cool story. It's, it's pretty heavy on, on the trans aspect. Um, well, not heavy, but like that's kind of like where the story is, seems to be going. But it's a really, really, really cool, um, cool world. Um, and then there's also kind of like they have powers. Like the since they're, they're being twins, they have like a like a unique connection, and they can they can hear each other's thoughts. And then once that's they get cool. back to their, cause they they go back to their their home. Um, they're trying to kind of you know put aside. They're they're trying to put the home up for sale. So they're trying to kind of, you know, put aside that part of their past and kind of move on. And then they realize that they have this ability where they can see these ghost-like memories and uh, which, which is kind of, kind of neat. Um, so I'm very early on the game. I'm less than an hour in, but um, the, the story seems pretty intriguing. The only thing that's kind of pulling me away from it is the environments look really, really good and detailed, but the actual characters don't more, more so when they're speaking like the, this the the lip sync is kind of off uh, okay and it doesn't have like i mean when you're when you play games like the last of us i mean it, it kind of ruins it for like every other game uh yeah but it's, yeah it does <laughs> it's, it's definitely cool so far i i'm I'll probably i think there's three chapters so i'm not sure how long the game is but it seems like you can definitely feel a sense of kind of dread when you walk into the home without not knowing much about what's going on. So that's, I mean, I feel like the, the world is, is pretty cool. It takes place in Alaska. Oh, so, nice. So what, what's the gameplay like? Is it kind of like an interactive drama? Type? Kind of like a, like a Walking Dead um, style. Like you're, it's a third person. Um, there's a tons of stuff that you can interact with and they'll kind of talk about their memories or, mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, there's like light puzzles so far. Um, no, no combat that I've seen. Okay. So far, uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm pretty early on, so I don't know a ton about the game. Um, yeah, but it's it's definitely intriguing. I'm, I'm definitely um, probably play some more and see how I like it. Okay. And, and and is it just chapter one out right now, or, or no? It's it's all, all three chapters. So it's it's weird on Game Pass. They have it broken up. You can either download all three chapters. And I think it's around 20 gigabytes, or you can just download the first chapter for seven gigabytes. Okay. So it's weird. It, it almost feels like it's a demo for the game, but it's also on Game Pass as well. So it's like, it's like, why wouldn't you just download the whole? Thing? Yeah, why wouldn't you just download the whole <laughs> thing? I I don't know. Um, that, yeah, that's kind of odd. I've never really seen something like that before. Yeah, I've heard of something like that. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've heard of like other 
adventure style games like this you know you they give you the first chapter for free mm-hmm. to hook you and then you you know you buy the second you know the the you know the chapters following that but uh yeah i would definitely i mean i would definitely recommend it it's it's, it's pretty interesting and the world seems um the story seems like it could go in a pretty cool direction so nice is it exclusive to xbox i believe so i believe xbox okay. owns that studio now don't they um I think so right. I, I mean it's on game pass so pc and xbox so gotcha yeah i was if they weren't owned by xbox i was gonna say maybe maybe on other platforms they have like the the first episode sold separately or something like that maybe just to hook people in but um and then yeah, they're, for they're owned by xbox and then I'll, I'll talk about uh my son for a second uh kellen so he's been playing a ton of mario for the wii u so I, well, I, I started, we started playing with him. Like I, I grabbed another Wiimote and we were playing like mm-hmm. two player and stuff like that. I don't know if I talked about that last week. No, you didn't. Um, I was telling mom and dad, like, I think it was around Wednesday last week. He, he was playing and we, you know, we had made dinner. So we, we made him come up. And th- this was the first night that we had played together, like on the TV. Mm-hmm. So he was pretty excited. So I made him come upstairs and he threw like a huge temper, temper tantrum. So we sat him on the stairs to calm down. And he's like, he's like, Mario, I need it. I oh, need no. it. And we're like, oh my God, what is he doing? He is actually addicted to Mario. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, anyways, so what, what I did was uh, I, um, I let him play uh, Mario on the Switch, the Mario Odyssey. Oh no. So yeah, I like I showed him how to play it and stuff. He really liked it. Like it's it's a little bit different, a little bit more challenging than the than, than 3D world is. Um but he liked it so far. We we played we did a little bit of the two player where he played as Cappy mm-hmm. and I played as Mario and then I just let him play by himself. Uh and then I switched him over to the 3DS and he's been playing uh 3D Land. 3D Land. Uh, yeah, that's Yeah, 3D Land, which yeah. which is pretty cool cuz you know you know, if we ever want to take him on a road trip, he can, he can bring that instead. So, and he gets the concept on that too. Cause it's, I mean, that's pretty much just like 3d world. Um, wow. So he's, he's full in, he's full he's, in Mario. He's, he's a Mario, but it, his next birthday is going to be a Mario birthday. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, we've already got him a Mario blanket. Like his, his room's probably gonna be Mario. <laughs> he's, he hasn't just... quite been into something this hardcore since, I mean, since he's been born. So as a gamer dad, good night. Love you. As a gamer dad, is this is this like a dream come true to have your son just be head head over heels into Mario? Oh yeah, because I mean, like, like especially he's like so good at it too. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, he's, he's like MLG Mario. Yeah, already. yeah. He's, I mean, he's actually like if you watch him, you're just like, oh my gosh, and he'll like find stuff that you don't expect him to find. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it's pretty cool. It's it's yeah. pretty cool. It's man, yeah. I remember, I mean, watching him play in the mountains. Yeah, his little his little thumb on that big. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's so cute. But yeah, that's why I like he does. That's why I was I switched him over to 3ds to see how he liked it because I have like the the original the smaller 3ds. Mm. So I wanted to see how he did with that. And does um, he do does he do better on that one or is it pretty similar? Uh, pretty similar. I mean, it's probably a little bit easier for him to to maneuver. Um, I haven't really watched him because I gave it to him while I was he wanted to come into my office today while I was working and play <laughs> on the TV and I said no, you know you can't. And then I was like, well, I got something else I can give you. And that's when I gave him that. So, <laughs> Little I mean, did I'll, you know. <laughs> I got more Mario, man. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty fun watching him oh, play and up. love it, too. Especially, I like, the Mario toys. He's, he's, he's into it. Wait, he's did you get him the Mario Lego set? <laughs> no, we're not quite at Legos. We just don't want, I don't know. There, he has that's, so much toys. too much of a pickup? Yeah, he's just got so much toys, and it's like a daily thing where he'll just he'll go he'll go to his toy basket, and he'll search for one toy, but he dumps the whole thing out instead of like you know siphoning through it or whatever. So and he doesn't we, put it back. We're trying to learn, teach him how to just you know just dig through your stuff instead of dumping it because he doesn't obviously he doesn't put it back. So right now I just feel like I mean he has like mega blocks and stuff, mm-hmm. but I feel like. Legos is just a little bit too much. Yeah, those are probably too too small as well. Plus, like, they're really expensive. So, and, like, I feel like I want them to take care of them too. Yeah, I think that's, they're like forty or fifty right. bucks a set or something. Yeah, it's, and then like a hundred for like the castle and stuff. But they they look really cool. But um, 
yeah that's, that's been it well hopefully uh this mario anniversary collection gets gets announced soon yeah so kellen can have some more mario to play yeah well i want him to watch us me and britney play luigi's mansion because i think he'd like that mm-hmm. and uh I don't, i'm thinking about maybe picking up maybe like captain toad or maybe what is it the super mario what's the one on the the new super mario brothers i think it is like the side scrolling too yeah i was thinking about maybe picking that one up on the switch but we'll see oh on the switch yeah that's yeah it's is it new super mario Bros? i think it is wii u i think that's like deluxe or whatever new super mario deluxe or something like that so maybe i might pick that up we'll see because it's still like really expensive on the wii u too yeah hopefully it goes on sale i don't know if it will but yeah probably not it's nintendo (laughs) <laughs> well the good thing is you have a lot of mario to choose from yeah and you know you you have you already have an extensive library of mario so you can just you know let, let them play yeah let them play go back and i've got that. the i've even got like the the super nes and the nes so i might break those out the mini ones and let him play on those yeah so we'll if, see. if you run out of games just be like, yeah got more mario yeah exactly <laughs> all right you want to um you want to go ahead and dive into the news Yep, let's let's dive in. We we had a lot of stuff happen this week. We had you know, Gamescom was you know Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think. I think so. Um there was the Nintendo Partners Mini Direct that was shadow dropped yeah. um, on Wednesday. And then just, you know, a few other things, but you know, it was a big week. Nothing like Nothing too too exciting, but not really. Yeah, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll take a dive in, you know, give you our analysis and yeah. You want you want, let, let's start off with Ratchet and Clank. Okay. You know that that game was shown again at Gamescom, and although I'm not, or although I'm probably not getting a PS5 at launch, I'm still really excited just seeing this game because yeah, it's, it looks looks incredible. Yeah, it's a great showcase of the next generation with I can't remember what what terminology they call it but it's when you're like pulling an environment to you or you're like warping to that yeah it's like they're using it's they can like generate a whole like level within seconds or something like that uh it's really cool what they've shown yeah um, and it's it's like there's no loading at all like yeah the loading is, crazy. is just you passing through the rifts yeah to go to the next world which is kind of wild and you know i'm so surprised that it's kind of kept the fidelity that it did when they first showcased it Mm -hmm. you know looks just as good and which is which is always always a plus um they released some additional information they're gonna have a 60 fps performance mode and then a 30 frames per second 4k mode Mm -hmm. so i mean like i don't i don't know what to expect going into next generation but i don't think we're gonna get anything higher than 30 uh running at 4k yeah if, I, if fraction I, and clink can't do it yeah i feel like 60, 60 fps should be standard for everything like yeah. I, I, I see a lot of games announcing this and i just thought that this was already kind of expected or standard mm-hmm. and then because aren't aren't these machines like 4k out of the box so like i don't know it, it kind of it's kind of hard to believe that they can't run 60 frames 4k but maybe i don't maybe i just don't understand the technology but i just feel like that's the kind of vibe i guess i got from yeah i don't know it's it's a little weird to that they're now like kind of not backtracking or backstepping but they're saying well it's not that powerful yeah you know it's it's going to look good and it's going to look better than your PS4 Pro, but it's not going to necessarily run at a better frame rate than your yeah. PS4 Pro. I mean, because I'm could... playing like a Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I prefer just playing at 60 FPS and then not worrying oh, about yeah. 4K at all. Unless there's not that big of a. Unless, depending on what the game is, but I mean, for the most part, I want that 60 FPS. I mean, that's mm-hmm. what I'm here for. Yeah. And when, when I played Ratchet and Clank on PS4, I think. I think it ran on 30, ran okay. on 30 FPS. So 
it's a big jump for the the franchise itself. But like you know, it, it's not it's not a realistic looking game. It's it's probably not like extremely extremely demanding. I mean, I know they're having the no loading and yeah and all that looks stuff. Good. But yeah, it looks really good. Looks amazing. I just wish we had a better insight on how powerful these consoles actually are. Yeah, I mean, they, they've, they've released some of the specs, um, you know, the, the teraflops and the SSDs and all that stuff, which, mm-hmm. again, to someone like myself who doesn't really know jack squat about kind of... On a, on a flip that, from a flop. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. To me, to me, my for, for me, not knowing any of this stuff and what I've seen, I thought that this stuff was already standard going forward into the future. So it, it just... Seems a little weird that they have to specify, hey, this is what it can do. I, it's like I thought this would, I thought this is what it could already do, but maybe we just, maybe they're just not as powerful as we think they are. I don't know. Maybe it depends yeah. on the game. I don't, I don't know. And it might just come down to us seeing a side by side comparison of a game that's running on PS4, PS4 Pro, and yeah. PS5. I mean, then you have like Microsoft saying that you know Halo Five or Halo Infinite was going to be 120 frames per second. Is that 4K or is that just 1080p or, you know, I don't know. So, I mean, we'll see. I, yeah, like I don't yeah. think there's any way it could be 4K, but they need to explicitly say, hey, this is 120 FPS, 1080p. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's it's weird. It, like, I don't know. Because, like, they had, the per- they had the performance mode on the, the PS4 pr- Pro as well. So, it's like, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. It's just kind of strange, but. Like, what's eh. the real difference? Yeah. But. I don't know. I I think I think both both consoles or both companies have have not done a great job of showcasing the true power of their consoles yet. No, it's because we've we've literally seen nothing. We've I mean we've seen games. They've released some specs. Microsoft more so than Sony. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean we're coming up on the end of August and we don't have a price. We don't have. Uh, I mean, we saw a little bit of what what the, the, well, we saw what the Xbox OS kind of looks like. Um, it looks like a lot cleaner version of what we have now. Yeah, uh, it, it looks pretty good actually. Um, but we don't know what PS5 looks like. We don't know if they're going to do their the PS what is it the PS Bar or what what they call it? PS Bar. Like the what what do they call their OS? Like the oh the X Bar or something know. like that. I think it's called like the X Bar. I can't remember what it's what it's called. Um, yeah, we just don't know a ton about these these consoles that are supposed to be coming out in a few months. So that's a little, and, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's weird. A little concerning. It's, it's, it's unprecedented, really. Like, yeah, it's yeah, and it and it's hard to because I mean, yeah, COVID probably has something to do with it, but mm. does that stop them from just? Yeah, unless they're just not sure that these things are going to come out this year, do they? Like, what's stopping them from putting together like a a video of just showing the console off. I don't understand, but I don't a video know. or just sending out a tweet with with a picture saying what the price is. I mean, there's so many ways you could deliver this information that's easier than creating like a 30 minute long video. Yeah, I mean, P- I mean, PS5 showed off both their sets of consoles with no price, and then Microsoft were still waiting on their their Series S. Um, announcement so and if and if, if quite honestly if that does not come out with a price i'm gonna be really pissed like it, it needs to, right? to have it needs to have a price because that's mean, they, gonna be their that's gonna be like their their uh low not low blow they're they're softening the blow with that with the price of the xbox one yeah they they need to stop i mean i know no one wants to go first with their price mm-hmm. but i mean if you've got it set in stone and what you think it should be then just drop it and when do you want to be first to having pre-orders up or yeah, or just I don't know. Maybe they just want yeah. like the last. They want that big. They want to. They want to go last. So they can have like you know more of the. I don't know more. People are thinking about it more going into into the holidays. I don't know. They're not thinking about. Well, we, you know what's Xbox gonna say before I yeah. order this, or what's you know PlayStation gonna say. I don't uh, know. They just need to come <laughs> together and be like, hey, it's a it's a next gen event, guys. Here it is. That's what we need. That's what the people need. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know. What's next? 
Okay, so I put this on here just because it was it was it was a cool announcement coming out of Gamescom, but uh, it's a game called Spellbreak, mm-hmm. and it's coming September third. It it's a battle royale, but it has a focus on like spell crafting, and it's mm-hmm. like kind of like a fantasy world. Okay. Uh, I don't know what game to compare it to. Like maybe uh, it kind of has the same look as like a Fable. Okay. Or it even looks kind of similar to Zelda in in the graphics of the game and the, the look yeah. of the game, but it, it looks pretty interesting. Like this is the first battle royale in a while that that I'm interested in, in playing and picking up, and it's conveniently coming to the Switch as well. Yeah, a day, uh, it's actually coming to the Switch day one. Nice. Yeah, it's coming to Switch <laughs> day one, which is surprising. Also unprecedented. Yeah. Right. Activision. Um, I was I was gonna go look at some Gamescom games that were announced. I know one of the ones we talked about was Little Nightmares 2 yep. is coming out in February of 2021. And okay. neither of us had played the first one, but this trailer looked really, really cool. And, you know, I know both of us are fans of, of horror games, and this one yeah, this one looks like just that. It looks like a good horror game. Sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. I definitely need to go and, and pick up Little nightmares. Um, I wonder if it's on sale now. I don't know. Man, I, man, I feel like that game is always on sale. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check the store. Yeah, and, and see. Um, Doom Eternal has some DLC coming, so you get excited for that. I still need to pick up Doom Eternal. It's yeah, uh, I'll probably end up picking up on Black Friday if they have some some pretty good online deals. Mm-hmm. Um, because I. Well, I mean, I don't know. Do you th- do you th- do you think like Walmart and stuff is going to have Black Friday this year? I mean, they're open. I don't know. I feel like what? I would probably go. I mean, I'm not. I mean, you I put a mask on and I'm good. I know they're not going to open up on Thursdays this year. Yeah, yeah, they're they're going to be closed. Um, mm-hmm. so which is fine. I mean, they it's... probably would have a some sort of limited Black Friday event. I don't. I mean, they've, they've got to have, like, at least, if they're going to do it, they're going to have to have some sort of, like, line system, I guess. Because, like, like, on a, a normal Black Friday, it's just balls to the walls. Everyone's got carts everywhere. There's, I mean, you're, there's no room to walk hardly. Um, yeah, there's no space. Yeah, so may, maybe oh. if, and gosh, if you can only allow so many, I guess you could probably only allow so many people in at a time. I don't know if they're even going to want to do deal with that headache. They probably haven't even really figured it out yet. Uh, I don't know. That's like such a weird thing to to think about because, like, normally you'd be like, "Oh, it's Black Friday," but now, you're yeah. like, oh my God, Black Friday! <laughs> it's like the Jesus. biggest, like the biggest rush of people in like one place in a year. Like, you probably get sick just normally at Black Friday, just yeah. people <laughs> coughing all over you. But I don't know. Yeah. I'll see. I feel like I might go, but hopefully they got some really, really good deals online. And if, if so, then I might just stay at home and I think they will. I think scour the internet. I think Microsoft and Sony will both have some good deals. Nintendo yeah. will have some okay deals. Hopefully they just got some really nice online deals. Like digital yeah. digital stuff. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I'm mostly going digital nowadays. So. Yeah. I mean, the only time I ever pick up a game it was usually Black Friday when I find it just dirt cheap. Yeah, when you do your do your haul of the yeah. uh, fifteen dollar, twenty five dollar games. Yeah. So yeah. can't be that experience though. You can't beat the thrill of Yeah, it's it's a rush. It is. It's a fun rush. And then you find like your random little like electronics that you didn't think you wanted, but then it's like, hey, it's ten dollars. Okay. Don't buy that wireless charger. Don't do it. It's not oh. gonna work. <laughs> oh, I, I bought I bought three one year for five bucks each, and they all work perfectly. They're beautiful. <laughs> I bought I bought a a light that had a wireless charger at the base, and I couldn't use it because I had a I had a pop socket on my phone, so I couldn't even take advantage of it. I think I have I have the same one. I think it's like, I think the brand is like, Zoomy to Zoomy or something, mm-hmm. and it's like it folds up. And then it's got like the base charging. Yep. It works pretty good. I actually use it as like my uh, my like light, kind of like a a ring light or something. 
A little pretty light. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. Anyways, Black Friday, it, it's always a fun time, especially when you're like we're up we're up the mountains with the family and stuff, and everyone's just like, "What do you want for Christmas? What do you want this? What do the kids want? I'm gonna buy myself a Switch Lite, <laughs> not on sale." Represent. I feel like you do that every year. I feel like you always like buy something really big that's not on sale. <laughs> I just get caught up in the magic of it all. Yeah. All right, let's go to GameStop. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard not to. Yeah. I don't know. I'd been thinking about it for a while. I knew it wasn't going to go on sale, but that was when I was going to strike. Yeah, strike hard and strike fast. We strike at midnight. Well, I think you didn't you get like a twenty five dollar gift card or something? No, no, I didn't. I <laughs> oh. I think I would have if I if I had come back uh, Saturday. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. But, cool. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, so next up, um, Black Ops Cold War finally got announced. It's been super leaked and rumored and teased. Super and, leaked. Um, so this one kind of seems interesting. It's a direct sequel to the original Black Ops, which is kind of cool. Um, I thought that's what Black Ops 2 was. Well, this takes place in between Black Ops 1 and 2. Oh, okay. okay. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know much too much about, about Black Ops. Um, I know. I, I think I liked 1 and 2 a lot. And then three, I can't remember. I don't, I don't think I played three. Either you didn't play it or you didn't like it. I don't think I played it because I, I remember having Black Ops 1 and 2 for the PS3. And then you never uh, got... Yeah, I don't think I ever got three. Anyways, um, I don't know. See, see, did you watch the trailer for this? Yeah, I watched the trailer. Yeah, the story looks really interesting. I mean, the Cold, Cold War is such a, a cool um, kind of setting, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't know. How, how do you feel about this? I mean, it's 100, 120 frames per second. Uh, I know Warzone is coming into this. It's going to be included with this. I think it still has zombies uh, as well. And then it's traditional. I don't know. I think what's going to make or break it for me is I don't know if I want classes in this game, like or class abilities like Black Ops yeah. 4 had. I think if they strip that out, I might be a little bit more interested in the base multiplayer. So you just want like vanilla, like yeah, like with some really cool perks, guns, yeah, perks and stuff like shirts. that. Maybe get rid of like the ten perk or ten, um, what is it, ten Pick perk ten. loadout. Like get rid of that. Like I don't like. I never liked that. Uh, it's kind of like back to like Modern Warfare Two, man. It's kind of what I want. Well, that's what that's what Modern Warfare Twenty Twenty kind of was, right? Like they didn't have the pick ten. It was uh, it was boots to the ground, so. No oh, I never, I never played it, so I don't know. Yeah, like, I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. I thought the maps were pretty shit. That's what just being a honest. lot of people said. Like the maps were just not that great. Piccadilly made me quit. Like a lot of playing. um, spawn camping and stuff like that. Oh, is what I heard. Yeah, it's terrible. What is Piccadilly? What is that? Is that a map? It's one of the maps. It's, oh, okay. of, it's the worst Call of Duty map to ever released. <laughs> like, no joke. Like there have been some bad ones, but exceptionally bad nice yeah 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 so i'm excited to see more i'm excited to see what the uh what the 6v6 multiplayer is going to look like i'm not a, i'm not a big warzone guy at all so i'm not necessarily excited for that but it does kind of beg the question of like you know is this is going to be like a 60 dollar game right like this is that's what i think now is is warzone is it just the same warzone just included in with this I think that's going to be the case. I, they, they might add some like a like a new map or something, but that's going to be kind of weird because you have you know the Cold War setting weaponry, which I mean it's not probably too much different than Modern Warfare. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, mean, I guess that could work, but yeah, it'd be kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know what they do. Maybe yeah, maybe they release a new map, um, with with the game. Maybe it's exclusive to the black ops version i don't know yeah I, yeah it's kind of interesting i'm going to the pre-order page just to see when it would did they announce oh. a um a release date for this i'm assuming november november 13th okay. okay so they have the standard edition which is just like uh coming out on xbox one and, and ps4 that's 60 bucks and then they have the cross gen edition okay 
Sorry, I'm trying to find the page I was on again. I got a pre-order. I'm here now looking at that too. So November 13th is when it comes out. Yeah, November 13th. All right, so yeah, they got the Xbox One version of the game. Uh, they've got the Series X version of the game and Xbox One, Xbox One version playable via backwards compatibility. Um, Cross gen bundle looks like it's the same. Cross gen bundle, I think, is seventy dollars. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, sixty nine ninety nine. So it's a ten dollar ten dollar upcharge from, which isn't bad. Like you, you can play it with old gen. So it's seventy seventy bucks essentially for, um, for the Series X version. For the Series X version or PS Five. Hmm, okay. So it, well, I mean, we saw that with what two K. Saw it with two uh, K. So yeah, I mean, kind of. That's kind of what we expected after 2K announced their stuff. Mm -hmm. I wonder, do does the I'm assuming that the Xbox, the the base Xbox game, they said it's backwards compa cap compatibility, but it probably doesn't have the smart delivery, right? I don't think they announced that because I doubt I doubt it has that. For Call of Duty, the base yeah. game? Yeah. Like if you if you buy it on Xbox One before and not the Series X version. I know, I know the base will will be able to play on the Series X with you know probably slightly improved frame rate and stuff, but it's probably not. It doesn't have that smart delivery like Xbox no, has no. been talking about. It doesn't have that that next gen upgrade. Yeah. Okay. That's that's where you have to shell out the extra ten dollars to the cross gen version. Gotcha. So I mean, it it's not it's not terrible. You know, it's it's better than two K because they. The only way you could get both is if you bought the Mamba edition for hundred dollars. This yeah. one's just seventy bucks, and you get access to both. Yeah, so it's not it's not terrible. Yeah, I mean this is kind of what we expected. I mean, ten mm -hmm. ten bucks, kind of an increase for next gen. Uh, sucks for consumers, I guess, because you're you know, you're paying. I, I'm kind of of two minds because you have obviously games cost way more money than they they used to. Mm -hmm. So I can understand that ten dollars, but there's also so much more microtransactions in video games now than there ever was ten years ago. So it's almost like they kind of offset each other. So now yeah. developers are double dipping to that territory, and you get you get the extra ten dollars, but you're also have a ton of microtransactions in the game with the battle passes and all this stuff. So it's like they're getting both of the best world, you know, the best. Of, Best of both worlds. They're they're having their cake and eating it too. Yeah, essentially. So uh, that's where I'm kind of like of two mindsets. I mean, it's ten extra bucks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. How, how do you, how do you feel about Black Ops in general? Do you do you think you're gonna get it? Since you, I mean, since you you since you bought Call of Duty last year and didn't you know have that great of a time with it? What what's kind of your your mindset? Um, well, I actually, I actually didn't buy it. I had, I had like this, the friendship thing with, with your Xboxes where you can we play each other's games. Okay. So I, played, okay. I played his. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Friends. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I really, really liked Black Ops 4. I loved the battle royale mode as well as the multiplayer and yeah, but that one didn't have single player. Which yeah. I enjoy Black Ops 4 for the most part. Mm -hmm. I might, I might, I might check this out because I, because I, I skipped Modern Warfare. Um, Noodles was saying that, that Marvel's Avengers has a sixty dollar battle pass. Oh yeah, that, that game looks like trash, man. I'm sorry. It's it has, yeah, the sixty dollar battle pass, and then you could do like a ten dollar battle pass per character to unlock different skins. I think is is what you're, what you're like. God, Th this yeah, game, this game this is probably going to go down its history as like the most egregious video game of all time i mean ugh, it just looks like it and like the gameplay doesn't even look that great it just looks like a i don't know I, yeah i remember the first time hearing about it when people played it behind closed doors and they were like yeah it kind of sucked you know and then, and then especially after the announcement of like spider-man like i just god that stuff pisses me off man i hate yeah. i hate exclusives like because you're essentially xbox players are paying are spending 
the same amount of money, but the PS4 or 5 players are getting more content. Like, that's really what pisses me off about exclusives. It's really dumb. Especially, especially for, like, exclusives like this where, like, that character is not coming over to Xbox. It's not, like, a timed exclusive or something. That, yeah, I can... It's, like, it, it's fine. Timed exclusives are annoying, I guess. But at least you eventually get the content. But with this case, you don't. So it's it's a shitty. It is. Do we do we know if this game is getting smart delivery on Xbox or, or I don't know on PS5 or anything? Or do you have to buy it again? I would assume it probably has smart delivery or some sort of, or at least backwards compatibility. Because it's a game as it's a game as a service, which. It, It probably does have. I feel like it does have smart delivery, but I don't know, man. That game just looks. I'm really interested to see the reviews for this game. Yeah, super. Yeah, everything I've seen on it so far with the beta and stuff, it just did not look fun at all. But maybe, maybe it will be. I don't know. Maybe just it just shows off really bad, and it and like the actual like meat of the game is is really fun and and cool, but. Yeah, for what I saw, I just, I am so uninterested in. Yeah, and I never really, even from like that first initial trailer, uh, I know, I know most people were just kind of pissed that they didn't look like the, <laughs> the likeness of the Avengers. But come on, man, like nobody's, like you'd be paying like ten million to get Robert Downey Jr.'s likeness in that game. It's just, oh yeah, it's just not possible. You can't do it, and you, and you want to fit as close to the mark as you can without. Yeah, I mean they they look good. Awesome. I mean. They look pretty close to like their movie counterparts or whatever, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, even oh, from I, that even from that initial trailer, I just was not excited for it. Me neither. And I, I like Avengers. I like Marvel. But yeah, yeah, same here. So. And it does have smart delivery for Xbox. It does. Okay, cool. cool. So I, I felt like I read it somewhere. Yeah, that Sweet. was now. It's like a few months ago. Okay, cool. Well, that's. I mean, at least that's good. You're you're getting. You know, you're paying once and don't have to pay anything extra. And but. at least the. Microtransaction stuff is cosmetic, so you know. Yeah. Whatever, but God, just let us let people unlock the costumes. Costumes are so fun in Marvel games, like yeah. Ultimate Alliance. Like they had unlockable costumes. A bunch of other games have great Spider Spider Man has like a bajillion costumes. Oh yeah, Spider Man's costumes are fantastic. Like they're that's some of the best costumes I've seen in a video game. Uh. Yeah, mm-hmm. noodles. Noodles was saying about picking it up on sale. I'm, I might pick it up on sale, just depending on what the yeah. reviews look like. I might pick it up for thirty dollars on Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, calling calling it now. It's gonna be thirty dollars. Yeah, oh, I don't know, man. Or thirty five. Sorry, it just looks egregious. <laughs> but anyways, okay. Um, so I don't know how we got from Black Ops to uh <laughs> to Marvel, but. but that's that's coming out this week. If you want to check it out, Marvel's Avengers launching. Uh, is that this week? It's coming out this week, man. Jesus. September third or fourth. Oh my god! Well, by Tony Hawk, it's dead. <laughs> uh, next up is Resident Evil is getting a Netflix show. Uh, this has oh, been yes. rumored for a while, I believe, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's been rumored for a long time. So it finally got like not announced. There wasn't like a trailer or anything, but they kind of gave like the synopsis. Mm. Um, and from what I remember reading, it it's. It's the main characters are the Wesker twins, I think. Yep. They're the kids of Wesker, and it kind of takes place in two timelines, like pre, pre, um, I think the, in the events leading, leading up to like the Raccoon City incident, and then mm-hmm. maybe years after, I think, right? Yep. Yep. Years after. Okay. Super, super down for it. Um, yeah, man. I, whew, I'm ready for some more Resident Evil. I really, sure. I really hope because, like, I don't know. Pe- people dog on the movies. I mean, the, the movies are kind of bad, but they're they're fun in a way. They they don't really. I mean, other than the character names, they have nothing to do with like the actual franchise of Resident Evil. Um, well, outside of like the first, well, the second movie was in they had like Nemesis, but outside of like the first two, they kind of just go full bonkers. Is the main character Jill Valentine, and or is it someone else completely? It's in, in um. Oh gosh, what's her name? Alice. Alice in, in the okay. movies. So I've she's only seen like, like the first one or two, but I yeah, want to watch them. They're really they're fun and they're like goofy and just really really over the top stupid. Um, but they're I mean whatever. But I really hope this is like a, a really serious, like gritty, scary, creepy show. You know? Yeah, I think like heavy heavy Resident Evil two vibes. Yeah, if they could do it in that vein, I think 
I think I could see them going that route just because the movies are so over the top. They could kind of have a more down to earth yeah. zombie show. Yeah, I mean, with uh, I mean, yeah, stuff like I mean, The Witcher, like they kind of, I mean, the timeline jumping was a little confusing if you weren't seriously paying attention to it. So I can understand if people are a little on edge about that. But if they do it right, I think it could be really cool. I think so. I, I'm so, really excited. I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited for more Witcher. Uh, for this, I mean, I know Amazon's got their Lord of the Rings show coming, which looks mm-hmm. or it sounds really cool. So lots, lots of good like stuff. That's good television. Last now. of Us coming into HBO. Yeah, so they have to get of, a trial at HBO to watch that. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely, yeah, I'll definitely get a, a month trial and then cancel it immediately after. But <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the scene from? I can't remember which Resident Evil. I think it's the first one, where there's there there's a bunch of people in this like long hallway. And there's yeah. like this laser beam, like it's like a bunch of square yeah. lasers that's coming through, and it yeah. and it squares that guy and just like cuts through him completely. Yeah, that it squares off. Freaked like, me out as a kid. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Um, yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty. Cool. I don't know why. Like that's like what I think of when I think of the Resident Evil movies. Is that that's yeah. That, that's scene. that's the first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the first one was pretty good. Um, and the second one's like really when it gets bonkers with Nemesis and stuff like that, and it kind of goes off the rails, but. Uh, maybe I'll have a marathon soon and just, you know, watch it's it. It's all on Netflix, I think. I think all of them are on Netflix. I, f- I remember looking, and I, I don't know if they are. Because I know, I know at least one, two, and three are. I don't, and Afterlife is on there. That's f- – no, two is Afterlife. I don't know. I don't the know final man. chapter? Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure this out. Yeah. They're they're good though. They're they're stupid. It's stupid fun. It's like good popcorn eating movies. It's, that's what that's what I'm looking for these days. There's some, yeah. some stupid fun movies. Yeah, and they're like they're they're short. They're like an hour and a half, two hours, not even two perfect. hours long. They're perfect. Yeah, they're good not stuff. Snyder cuts. That's sure. don't even get me started. Ah, I just don't understand that. Four hours. I don't understand Four. it, man. Four like I, I never saw BVS, so I don't. I always heard it was pretty crappy. I know that. I think I think Zack Snyder's daughter died or i think killed herself or something in um in like the middle of development that for that movie so and then i know josh joss whedon took over so i think that's why people were so hyped on this on this cut but wait is this for bbs or is it for justice league or no sorry justice league right no yeah it's, it's justice league is it yeah okay okay but justice league wasn't even that good right i mean i don't know i never no. saw it no, uh, well, I, yeah, I never saw, but I just heard it wasn't that good. Yeah, so I don't know. It's so weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a four-hour cut. I don't know. Maybe but it's it maybe it's into four episodes. I don't know. Maybe this will be like the greatest thing ever to happen to DC. I don't know. I'm not. They sure are banking on it a lot. I'm not big on Zack Snyder. Um, I liked I liked 300. Uh, I thought Sucker Punch was pretty terrible. Uh. Didn't see, didn't see Batman versus Superman. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw that one. It was, it was okay. Yeah. Uh, didn't see. Uh, I don't know. Just didn't see Justice League. I haven't seen any of the the super the any of the DC movies really. Um, kind of a lot of them kind of sucked. I heard Aquaman was pretty good. Yeah, I almost watched that one on a plane, <laughs> but then I watched something else. Yeah. I, no, actually, I was, I was watching, watching it from the person in front of me's seat. I was just like, kind of just. <laughs> and you're like, oh, this looks interesting. Yeah, I was like, what is this? Oh, it's Aquaman. Cool. All right, you want to read the uh, the next story? Yeah. So this is. Th- this one has some more merit to it because, because of the source. But Bloomberg broke some news that a new Switch console is in development. I mean, obviously, so, obviously, a new Switch console or something is in development. Yeah, they are saying that this one has the potential for 4K. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that means 4K output on a TV and not 4K handheld screen because that is impossible, from what I know. Yeah, probably. You're probably probably right on that one. It would probably just be too expensive too to to have. A yeah, I don't screen. know. I, I I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so they're they're saying it has 4K output, and it could be the reason why we're 
seeing a slower release schedule from Nintendo this holiday season, or we just haven't seen anything yet because they're they're saving those games for for uh, for next year when this when this console now, launches. Did it say the launch f- window for this thing, like early Q1? I think it was going to go into production. I think it's going to go in production in Q1 because the production lines are, are you know, all filled up right now because of right. uh, Switch and Switch Lite. And maybe it'll uh, be a holiday thing next year. Yeah, which which would be pretty cool and would be a good way to combat, you know, the, the PS5 and Xbox Series X. So we'll see. I mean, maybe, you know, some of their bigger games like Breath of the Wild 2 will be launching yeah. simultaneously with these or with this new console. Yeah, uh, Noodle, Noodles was saying that some some mo- mobile phones have 4K re- resolution, so it's it's possible. Okay. Okay, I, just, so I, just don't, possible. I don't keep up with like a lot of tech on like for like what's 4K, what's not 4K, all that kind of stuff. So I don't I don't know. Um, so yeah, so if it's it's if it's doable, I mean that would be cool. I would wonder how much more expensive the Switch would be. I mean, three fifty, four hundred. I mean, that's probably, kind of probably expensive. Like four hundred. If you're I mean, talking about 4K output. I mean, if we're talking 400, I mean, that's got to be like a Switch 2 or, you know, Switchier. Or, or they know. just call it the Switch Switch Pro. Switch Pro, yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe kind of like a mid-tier. I mean, because what, three three years now? So this will be year four for Switch. It'll be year four. I can't see them abandoning their their current user base. Switch already. XL. Yeah, you could, the yeah, new switch. Be, please, God, don't do the new switch. <laughs> it's just gonna suck. 3D like, switch. The three, the three switch. If get if this, they, the switch, but a but a screen pops out from top. It's called switches. You call it switches. Switches. The the dual switch. <laughs> the D the DS. The D- dual switch. The DSS. I don't know. Dual screen switch. Um. But, it would be really unfortunate if they had a user base split like they did when they released the new 3DS XL because that went terribly. They put out like one game that was um, solely for that console or for that handheld device, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that they would do that again. I don't think they would make one game exclusive to the newer thing just because you're kind of any developer that you sell there's so many switches that you're kind of you know and that's i think that's the problem with how well um like xenoblade sold on the 3ds just because Mm -hmm. not a lot of people had the new 3ds and, and probably never got the new 3ds yeah so um yeah, I don't. I don't think they would do that. I, I think they would probably just kind of. It would be like an Xbox One, X, P- PS4 kind of pro situation where it's going to run better and it's going to look better, but hopefully optimization wise, everything runs well on everything. Like nothing's being compromised because of this new system. Right. Now the question is, would you would you get this? Yes. Is that something like a four hundred dollar price point. Probably. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> like, Xbox One, I'm still... just don't know if I'm going to get the the, the, Series S at, the Series X at launch. I just... With there being nothing, really, that we that's going to be launching with it, I just... I don't know. I'm still, like, very up in, up in arms. And granted, we don't know price yet. So, I don't know. If it's, like, 400 maybe I'll dip into it immediately just to have it uh, and get it ready for halo but all right let me let me paint you a picture then so they they announced you know the switch pro okay or, or whatever it's called and they show you know a new gameplay video of breath of the wild 2 and <laughs> you know in the, in the bottom left corner it says you know running on switch pro and it looks amazing right looks fantastic it's 60 frames per second 1080p four, 4K, sorry. 4K, 30 frames per second. That's more realistic. 4K, 30 frames per second. Looks beautiful. And then they show, you know, just the regular r- regular old Switch version running, and it just kind of looks like, looks like poo-poo. Like, what are you going to do? 
get this. <laughs> Ocarina of Time remastered Switch Pro launch day. They won. That's it. They won the next gen with not even having a next gen console. Maybe even adding Majora's <laughs> Mask and you got yourself a deal. Yeah. Yeah, it's the uh yeah, the Ocarina of Time collection. Wait, what did they call that before? Wait, did they ever have oh no, it was the um Master Quest. Master Quest. Yeah, they that never was like had the... a Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time bundle? Nah. Damn. Yeah, Skyward Sword has been rumored. I know there was like that Amazon listing, um, but I think you know, me and you and you and I were talking about that a couple of weeks ago. If it's going to be like a full remaster, because mm-hmm. obviously, like with with the light, it doesn't have the handheld. So I, I, it's a lot of work to put into that game to bring it back, um, or, or to to remaster it and put it out on everything because. The switch light doesn't have motion control, so you just got to put in some extra work for that. But maybe that's why it's taking so long because maybe I mean, normally there's not that big of a gap between remasters of a uh, of you know main Zelda games. Like the gap between Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess wasn't that long. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised they haven't announced the Twilight Princess at least or Wind Waker, one of those maybe two for the Switch. Such an easy like easy transition to the switch and like it would sell really well too yeah especially especially wind waker i mean wind waker had no motion controls at all mm-hmm. so that would be the easy well not easy i mean well, not, it had gyro on wii u yeah it did but i mean you know the switch has that and so does the light um so that, that would be kind of an easier port i should say i shouldn't say easy because i don't know anything about game development but you just take uh, the file and you drag it to yeah you just switch. drag it directly <laughs> over into switch and then it just works it's a uh, development <laughs> um yeah i mean we say this every week i mean we just want something something just tangible that we can hold and or it's, it's some Analyze knowledge and, yeah please just, please bless us with some sweet sweet knowledge sweet knowledge so we Whoa. can use it <laughs> yeah i don't know man I, I i just i got i got nothing i got no it, it's just pure speculation at this point with anything that we hear and i i got no idea when we're gonna hear anything from a direct i mean nick it's been almost a full year since a, a real direct like a real popular a proper direct Dude, i can't i don't think i can mentally handle another direct mini or another partner showcase i, I mean really we can't. we had the direct mini uh, way back in what March? Yeah, it was in March. Um, we had a co- couple of the Pokemon directs, so, and we had an Animal Crossing direct. So we haven't had a full fledged direct in like almost a year, and it's yeah. breaking my heart, man. It's breaking my heart big time. It's breaking, it's breaking my heart. I need some Mario or some Zelda. It's a, I mean, it's at the point where I'm I'm checking Twitter at like 10 a.m. because I know that I know that's when they, <laughs> you know, release directs or that's when they announce them. And, I feel like a freaking lunatic right now. Yeah. But and we're so hungry for information that we just people lose their minds over Mario shirtless on a beach because we think out. it's gonna be a freaking sunshine sequel or, or remaster or something, you know? I don't know. There there is a big I mean, God, I can't I can't even say rumor anymore, but there's there's a rumor that the Mario the Mario thirty fifth anniversary is gonna get announced this week. So, I need to stop going on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it. I mean, but do they announce it just standalone, or do they do like a proper direct, like they should? At they should. Point, they, would just announce, they would probably just announce it standalone because they don't know how to do them anymore. <laughs> like, uh, we're losing it. I, uh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, guys. Mind. All right. Um. So yeah, four four K four K potential. New switch coming next year. Um, I'll probably probably pick it up. Are you gonna probably pick it up? Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm just cool. I'm, I'm in on this uh, this switch generation. You got the white. Hopefully, hopefully regular. they do like some really different colors with this. That would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't know, but yeah. Uh, last story. Um, PlayStation Five is not gonna be backwards compatible with the original one, two, and three games. 
PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 games? Yeah, I mean, I mean whatever. You, you I mean, I'm not that upset so about far. that. You can only get back so far, right? And Yeah. Yeah. Your, your PlayStation 4 can play three and two games? Mm-hmm. PlayStation 3. And one, right? Don't they sell one games? PlayStation 1 games? Yeah. And you can also get them through PS Now. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So, I mean, so what? I wonder what the difference is because, I mean, Xbox has full backwards compatibility for everything that they've done in the past. I wonder what the difference in hardware is that they can't, or maybe they just decided not to. That could be. Yeah. I, I wonder how expensive it is to implement that or to, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe they just maybe just, they saw raw numbers with the PS4 and how many people actually used it for a backwards compatibility. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's something that they're that's in consideration. And yeah. Xbox trying to be more user friendly with everything that they've done. Maybe that's why they they want to to bring that goodwill into the Series X and beyond. I think so. I th- yeah, I think they're really, really putting a lot of resources into the Series X, and you know they're they're probably going to take it as at a loss. Yeah, I mean consoles normally sell at a loss, but yeah, exactly. They'll yeah. probably be taking it at a bigger loss than you know Sony would be willing to. So I don't know. Like, it's not that big of a deal that that PS One, Two, and Three games aren't going to be backwards compatible on the on the PS Five because. You know, a lot of people have a PS4 that are going to get the PS5. Like, you can just hang on to that. And yeah, I mean, I have at, at this point, I have zero interest in trading in any of my consoles anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep gonna everything. Trade in, trade in bonus for new console or anything like that. Probably, maybe with the Xbox One, but I just don't know if I would with well, the Xbox One. Mainly sure. because my PS4 has PT on it, and I don't want to get rid of that. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't get rid of it. But then, like the Xbox One, like I thought about just possibly putting it out in the living room, using that as a, uh, you know, a Blu-ray player. Mm-hmm. And then if I ever want to play something on the big screen, I can just play on there and not have to worry about transferring it over, or you know, something like. So I'll probably end up keeping it because I just don't see. I mean, A, I don't know how long GameStop's going to be around anymore, and I don't know if they're going to have, like, some super crazy trade-in deal. So, I don't know. Yeah, we'll they, see. We'll see. I, yeah, I guess it all comes down to how good the deal is. It's, you know, $200 for yeah. a base Xbox. would be like, hell yeah, I'll, I'll trade that in. I mean, that's how, that's how it was months. for my PS3 to the PS4. I spent a little over 200 bucks for the PS4. Mm-hmm. So, that, I mean, that was, that was a great deal that I got. Um, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, what yeah. we'll see what it looks like in the future. And yeah. uh, I don't know. Two two months now. We'll, two we'll months. have new consoles I, in two freaking months. September. Well, so we're we're in September pretty much. It's September October. But yeah, a l- little over two months. Yeah, it's rum- so. rumored like November thirteenth. Yeah, I think for those two consoles, possibly. I think Series X is going to launch a week before. Yeah, based off of what I've seen, and then. Um, yeah, I think it'll launch like the first the week of um September, or November. That's crazy that it's two months from now, and we know no, no price, no nothing. Oh. I'm getting riled up over here, man. I'm speculation, straight, man. It's pure speculation at this point. Who knows? Uh, I've seen like so many YouTube videos of like of like like Walmart and, and Best Buy leaks, but mm-hmm. a lot of times that stuff is just placeholder prices they don't actually know the prices so it's all just them getting ready i'm just assuming the thing's gonna be 600 bucks and and if it's lower than that then i take that as a win Mm -hmm. yeah i I think that's how you should look at it yeah i don't know we'll see (laughs) we'll see we'll see we'll see 2020 we'll see (laughs) see. maybe september is gonna hit us hard but i said that for august in august if anything, just lightly slapped us across the face. Yeah, yeah. Not Maybe. not not hit hard. I got a feeling September is going to be a good month. I doubt they're going to wait a month to reveal the price, but I mean, maybe I don't know. I don't know, man. They might. <laughs> but no, I think September is make or break it for these consoles. 
you get you got to announce something. Somebody's got to go first. Mm-hmm. Nintendo's going to have a, a a killer direct. New yep. Zelda, Breath of the Wild two, possibly a remaster. New Mario game, well, not new Mario remaster Mario. Hell yeah, maybe a Odyssey two. Dude, that'd be sick. We'll see, man. We'll see. It could be killer. <laughs> it could be straight killer. Nintendo to hire me. I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> Just release games faster. It's easy. Yeah. yeah, gosh. Work from home better. Jesus. Yeah, man. Come on. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the show. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. It was very uh, rant filled this week, and we're just we're just upset, man. We're we just love games so much, and we just want to we want all the games, man. Yeah, we want to see them. We want to see things happen. I don't even want all the games. I just want to know what's coming. Yeah, I just want something to be excited about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you like the show, please give us uh, leave us a review on your favorite podcasting platform of choice. Yep. That would definitely help us out tremendously. Um, Nick, where can they follow us on Twitter? Uh, Gaming WT Bros. Yep. I keep wanting to say at something, but it's at Gaming WT Bros on Twitter. Yep. If you want to tweet at us, um, you know, what are you expecting for next gen? What are you What are you looking forward to? Yeah. Buying, yeah. 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 And then you can also send us emails as well. Uh, it's Gaming with the Bros at Yahoo.com. Um, so you can send us anything. Uh, same thing with the questions, you know, what, what you're looking forward to, all that good stuff. And uh, Nick, you want to plug anything? You want to plug your new, your new song? Yeah. Oh man. Might as well. So I, yeah. Once I got my laptop back, I started recording again. So I have a song out on Spotify under Nick Putnam. So check it out. Is it on YouTube? Did you put it on your YouTube channel? No, it's not on my YouTube channel. It's it's slowly going up on different on different services. And I think okay, so is the first one it's on. So gotcha. That's the only one I'll plug right now. But yeah, it'll cool. be up on more soon. Well, check it out on Spotify. Um, you can check me out over on twitch.tv slash Atomic Reptar ninety two. I am trying to stream more. Um, been streaming Dragon Ball Z here lately. Been getting angry. People keep beating me because they're they're gods and I can't beat them. It just sucks because like. I, never mind. I'm not going to go to it. Uh, yeah, you can follow you me. You don't have enough time to play. Well, no, I do. I play a lot, but like you just the way the there's not a lot of people that play the game, and the ones that do are godly. And yeah, if you if you try to pick within the criteria of searching, if you try to pick like similar rank or, or same rank, it it takes a super long time. And if you and if you choose challenging you get matches a lot faster. So that's what I tend to do. But I get players that have been playing for hardcore for years and I just get destroyed. Um, but, but I guess that also makes you better too. Like I've learned combos and I've learned um, like counters and stuff. So it, it helps. But yeah, I, I stream that sometimes and I'll probably end up streaming some Tony Hawk this week once it comes yeah, out. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be vibing to that. Um, vibing and grinding. Vibing and grinding, baby. Babbin and Grinding. But yeah, that's gonna that's gonna end the show. Appreciate everyone that's been downloading and watching as always. Yep, thank you. And for watching. uh yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.